In the morning, you wake up, go outside and say good morning to your neighbor next door. As you walk down the street, you see someone you know, so you nod to show that you see them. When you get on the bus, an elderly lady comes in after you, so you stand up and give her your seat. You don't have to do any of these things, but you choose to be friendly and helpful. There aren't any official books or guides that list all the right and wrong things in the world. They're not in any laws or written rules. However, we all seem to understand and follow these rules without anyone explaining them to us. We stick to them pretty closely. We don't have to tell each other what they are, but we can tell when someone doesn't follow them. These are the unwritten rules of society. Aristotle once said, man is by nature a social animal. An individual who is unsocial naturally and not accidentally is either beneath our notice or more than human. Since we are highly social creatures, we rely on each other for many things, including deciding what's right and wrong. We unite to create governments, select leaders to maintain order and establish a constitution. However, these actions are typically for important matters. For everyday situations, there are no official rules or laws. Instead, we all have a shared understanding of what's considered right and wrong. As a society, we have a strong affection for looking at pictures. They bring back memories, make us feel nostalgic, and when we share these pictures with others, it lets them have a glimpse into our lives. We enjoy looking at pictures to reminisce about where we've been and how much we've grown. In the past, we used to keep big family photo albums at home for when guests visited. We'd sometimes hand them the album to share memories. Nowadays, we do things a bit differently. Today, we often send pictures from our smartphones, share throwback photos on social media, or simply show someone a photo on our phones. However, it can be frustrating when they start swiping left or right to see more pictures. Why? because they've broken an unwritten rule. You shouldn't swipe through someone's photos on their phone unless they say it's okay. The reason is, unlike our carefully curated family albums that only show pictures we're comfortable with others seeing, our phones have everything from funny memes we want to share to private photos that should remain private. That's why it's crucial to respect the boundaries and only look at what the other person is willing to share. It's pretty incredible to think about how recent smartphones are. The first commercial smartphone came out around 30 years ago, but it wasn't until 2007, with the release of the iPhone, that phones became truly smart by today's standards. In a short time, as a society, we've developed unspoken rules for using smartphones that we all seem to follow naturally. Before phones, we used to visit each other without any notice. However, with the advent of phones and texting, we created a new unspoken rule. You generally don't show up at someone's house unannounced. Of course, this doesn't apply as much to family and very close friends. But if you want to visit a co-worker or someone you're not particularly close to, it's a good idea to send them a text first. Otherwise, you might not find a friendly face when you ring the doorbell. As humans, we communicate not just through words, but also through our actions. As the saying goes, actions can often convey more than words. When we talk to each other, we pay attention to hand gestures, head movements, how close we are, and overall body language. This helps us gauge how the conversation is going. Are they interested? Do they look confused? That's why it's impolite to stare at your phone screen when someone is talking to you, even if you're still listening. People like to make eye contact when they converse with others. Similarly, it's considered rude to keep your earbuds in your ears while talking to people, especially now that wireless earbuds are so small and comfortable. It's easy to forget they're in your ears, even when you're chatting with someone. As a society, we've collectively agreed that it's more respectful to remove your earbuds when talking to someone, so they don't have to raise their voice to be heard. When it comes to public transportation, personal space can be scarce, and often it's not anyone's fault. 
We've learned to accept this, but there are still boundaries that should not be crossed. No matter how close you are to someone, it's never okay to peek at their phone. As mentioned earlier, phones contain private and sensitive information, some of which you definitely wouldn't want to stumble upon. Invading someone's phone privacy is a surefire way to witness something you won't forget. Speaking of smartphones and public transportation, there's one unspoken rule I wish more people would follow. It's important not to play music loudly from your speakers in small public places like waiting rooms or buses. Even if you love the song, not everyone will, and some people might need silence to unwind and collect their thoughts after a tough day. We should respect their need for quiet. If you want to listen to music during your commute, consider getting a pair of affordable wireless earbuds. Likewise, another widely accepted unspoken rule is to avoid taking personal calls in public unless it's an emergency. Most people don't want to overhear your conversation with a distant relative or all the office gossip your co-worker is sharing with you. If you have to take a call in public, try to find a somewhat private spot or lower your voice as much as possible to avoid annoyed looks from those around you. When someone whispers something to you, it's an unspoken rule to whisper your reply back because they're probably whispering to keep the conversation private. As humans, we tell many lies for various reasons. To boost our self-esteem, protect others' feelings, impress people, fit into social circles, or just get some time off work. We've come to accept this as a society. However, there are two people you should never lie to, your doctor and your lawyer. Fortunately, these professionals are legally bound to keep your truths confidential so your secrets remain safe. To discourage unnecessary lies to save face, there are certain questions we simply don't ask. You typically don't ask about someone's income, weight, or a woman's age. The reason for this isn't entirely clear, but if you're close enough to someone, you'll likely know these details without asking. And if you're not close enough, it's best not to inquire. It's worth repeating that humans are very social beings. Our ability to thrive in groups has led us to be kind to one another, fostering a sense of camaraderie and community. To make things smoother for everyone, we've developed unspoken rules that help us distinguish what's considerate, polite, and what's not. For instance, if you had plans with someone and had to cancel, it's your responsibility to reschedule. When you do this, you show that you respect their time and want to make up for not keeping your promise before. For example, if someone offers to share food with you, it's polite to let them have the first and last pieces. And if they only have one piece left, it's best not to ask for it. Being kind doesn't always mean giving compliments. Sometimes it means pointing out mistakes and helping to fix them when possible. But it's a good rule to only mention things that can be fixed quickly like telling your friend they have something stuck in their teeth during lunch or letting your girlfriend know her shirt is untucked. However, if it's something like makeup or their choice of clothes, it's better not to mention it if they can't do anything about it right away. Bringing it up might make them feel insecure. There are two places where it's essential not to cause trouble or drama, weddings and funerals. These events are very meaningful to most people and in most cultures so causing problems at them is strongly discouraged in our society. Avoid proposing at someone else's wedding unless they specifically offer or suggest it. Don't put them in an awkward position by asking, especially if you're close friends. Let them enjoy their special day without added stress. At funerals, it's essential to show respect for the deceased. Allow people to say their final goodbyes to their loved ones you can address any owed matters with the living relatives at a later time. As children, we may not have been as aware of these unspoken rules because less was expected of us. While we were taught to be kind to strangers and respectful to elders, we were also readily forgiven if we unintentionally broke any of these unwritten rules. However, for adults, the expectations are different. Indeed, as we grow older, 
more rules seem to be added to the ones we already have to follow. As a child, leaving a shopping cart in the middle of a grocery store aisle might be seen as cute, but as an adult, you won't be forgiven so easily. People become less inclined to lend you their belongings as you age because they've spent their hard-earned money on them and expect you to do the same. As an unwritten guideline, it's generally best not to borrow something more than twice. If you find yourself needing it a third time, it's a clear sign that you should have your own. When you start living on your own, you have to acquire essential items like furniture, kitchen utensils, and bathroom appliances. However, there's one item you should never forget to have, a plunger. This is one of the few unspoken rules that benefits you personally. Always buy a plunger before you actually need one. On your first day at a new job, you typically receive an orientation that covers how things work in the organization, your duties and responsibilities, and the office culture. Some things, however, aren't included in the orientation speech, like avoiding cooking smelly foods in the office kitchen and showing kindness to less skilled staff, such as janitors and security guards. Another unspoken rule is waiting for everyone to exit the elevator before getting on. It's rules like these that bind us together as a society. If everything were spelled out in a constitution, we might end up living like robots. Although some might argue that we're already quite close to that. By leaving many of these rules unspoken, we're able to follow them more naturally, recognizing that some things are better left unsaid.